So I first discovered that um, VR goggles can project when I thought to myself, what would happen if I increase the phone's brightness? And well, the results actually surprised me big time. So look at the size of the lens. These lenses are massive compared to the one I used for the experiment, which means these ones should have much bigger output. And let me show you. Let me switch off the lights for you. And as you can see, the VR is right here, and there's the image. It's actually displaying something, as you can see. See, if I come closer, and then if I go further, as you can see. But when I go closer, you can actually see the individual lenses that this VR thing has. Now, if I go further, they merge, but not completely. But still... As you can see, this thing is working like a projector. And that's what gave me the idea that this VR thing has major potential. Cardbox 3D glasses. This version is the cheapest one you could find. It's basically made out of cardbox. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the piece of cardbox that holds the two lenses. I'm only going to use one lens. So the next step is I'm going to take this gift box and then I'm going to cut the bottom of the box the same size as the VR. Once I have cut that piece out, I'm going to merge the gift box with the VR and then hot glue it in place. The next thing is I'm going to take the blood of the box and then I'm going to cut a hole out so I can place the lens. Then I'm going to hot glue the lens to the lid and then it's finished. Simple. As you can see, the quality is actually quite good. The only problem is the picture is upside down, right? That's the first problem. And the second problem is it doesn't have a lot of project, project, uh, projecting distance. Like this, this is like super close to the, the wall, as you can see. So that's the two problems. This is a music box. Anyway, it's not important. I'm going to put the music box against the wall and not move it, right? And I'm going to take this simple little lens and I'm going to put it over the camera. Look at the difference. Look at that. Can you see how wide the image is now? This tiny little lens made that happen. This is called a wide angle lens. So my thought is, if this wide angle lens takes in more light, if I put, if I combine this with this phone projector, then I may be able to increase the projector's output, just like a laser and lenses, like just doubling the output, like concentrating the beam from the phone. So here's the homemade projector. You could say the total cost to make this would be like $5. As you can see, look at that image. The lights are still on, but you can still see the image. But there's only one problem because it has to be against the wall like this for you to even see anything. Like it doesn't have like good range, but it does have good picture quality. Okay, so let me switch off the lights so you can see. Ooh. There we go. Look at that. See, good picture quality, but no range. So you, if you focus it, so the reason the picture is like this is because I'm putting it at an angle so you can see. But if you had to use it properly, you would do it like this and you wouldn't see anything. So look, picture quality is not bad. See, this is good picture quality, but the range is terrible. This is the wide angle lens, right? This is the clip that clips onto your phone, right? But it can be removed. As you can see, I just, you can just unscrew it like this, see? 
there's the lens right here okay so basically it's actually two lenses this is the wide angle and this is the micro but combined they create the wide angle Here we go as you can see it's now glued in place now let's go test it out it's done and ready for action it's assembled and now i just have to test it out let me switch off the lights ready check this out boom look at the upgrade i can even go further away and it still displays something look at this way better do you see the increase just by adding a tiny little lens now i can really do forward backwards i can really focus it so i made sure to switch on the uh, subtitles just to see how bad it is and to gauge whether it's good or not but at least the picture quality is not bad it's not terrible as you can see okay there we go look at that okay let me switch on the lights so Okay, so when I was testing it before, I was like this close to the wall, like the distance was like very close, but now I can really go further away. Now I just have to figure out why it's upside down. Like I can try to rotate it, but as soon as I get to a certain point, it's just going to rotate as well. So look at that image quality. Oof, that's very good. Wow. All right, so right now I'm making the thumbnail. And as you can see, right now it's not a video. So you can really see how far it can go close, further away. As you can see, look at that. This is like maybe a meter away. And then you can go even closer. And the image quality just gets better and better. But not too close, like somewhere right here. But the details are very good. Do you know what this is? Let me show you. It's a telescope. Now, telescopes are built for light. So obviously they faced many issues with light. And obviously they have already solved the problem. This is not an incomplete telescope. So if they solve the problem, how do they solve it? Right here. So this is where you put your eye to see. So as you can see, this is vertical, right? Vertical, but the whole lens is horizontal. So how do they how do they do that? They used a mirror. So this right here is called the star diagonal. So because of that mirror, it allows you to see things that are horizontal, which is pretty cool. Now it's going to solve my problem with the upside down image because now I can project a right side up image now. See, they've already solved it. Simple. The homemade projector is right here and I've tried to use this uh, star diagonal from a telescope. It worked, but the, the diameter of the image is very small. Like I can't even watch this. Like, although I can see something, as you can see, I can't really watch it. So I have a mirror right here just a mirror now look what happens if i put it look boom the image is the right way see the image is no more upside down so i basically i solved it look see now this is something you can watch now basically since it's working i'm thinking i'll just grab some hot glue and then i'm just going to place it to hold it in place and then we can retest it but look at this it's working it's working so you this is a the project is a big success because i managed to find a problem and i solved it just by adding a mirror the glue gun is uh hot and ready to go as you can see this is just a standard mirror nothing fancy about it all right so now it's time to glue on the mirror so basically i can put the lens on as this one i put the lens on just like that and then we take the mirror and then adjust it to the right angle and in order to th do this i need to switch off all the lights there we go now we can do the the adjustments okay so we put it right here okay there's the picture boom right there 
need to adjust it just right and then take the what happens if I get close let's see further away okay closer and the image quality gets better this is wonderful okay I put it right over here and we put a bit of hot glue as you can see, the mirror has been added and now I have a perfectly working phone projector that sh shows images in the right position. It's not upside down. All right, so as you can see, this is what it looks like. Look at that. There's the mirror. There's the lens. As you can see, now I'm going to switch off all the lights and you can see it in perf in in action and I uh, it's it's quite good now that it's working quite very well. So let me switch off. There we go. I give you the phone projector. There we go. Can I adjust it so Look at that. I can even read the text on the image itself. And then basically when it's like, when it's in the right position, the quality is even better. But since I want you to see it, I have to put the projector at an angle. Look at that. And then let's try to do it from further away. Okay, it just gets bigger. Thanks for watching. Please consider liking or subscribing. Hope to see you in another video.